So it's about sharing the place, yeah. And everybody I work with is the same. We just want to share it, our special place. We can come in and have a bit of a look. What a beautiful day. I'm Paul Sophilus. They call me the lighthouse keeper. So you look behind me and you can see a pretty amazing place. I just love this area. I've been coming here since I was a kid. History, environment, all sorts of really cool things happen at Cape Lewin. Sometimes people have some pretty amazing stories about their connections to here, or just sometimes they're in awe of this place. Yeah, it's got many moods. Some days it's like you could say it's angry. Big storms coming over, and then you've got days like today, it's really calm and chilled. You see the bees coming in, finding some blossom, and then you look further down to the ground, and there's these ants, different sized ants, just cruising around. Yeah, what we're about is being, in a way, custodians of this little area as part of the bigger area. It's about protecting the environment, like the War Dandy did for 70,000 years. They made it sustainable, and we want to make it sustainable. So if you adapt to the environment, you get to appreciate it and enjoy it. And of course, you've got Kate Lewin Lighthouse. It's looking really, really good. It's a proper restoration, not just repairs. The lighthouse has been restored. A lot of the buildings have been restored. The cafe, the Interpretive Centre Museum. They're restored buildings, they're heritage buildings, they're important to part of the history. Well, in one way, it could be December 1896 when it's first been opened. It's that good a condition. There's tours every day but Christmas Day. The guides, myself, we love what we do and we just want you guys to come and check it out, see how special it is and have a great time. So please come and visit us.